So gratefulness and actually practicing gratefulness, I find is a key behavior that you want to master going into a job interview, especially if it's uh, with your dream company. And, uh, you know, I also, you know, somewhat struggled showing gratefulness in various stages of both my professional and my personal life. But, uh, you know, the more I practice it, the better I become with these things. But uh, before I give you giving you my two cents over how do you practice gratefulness, um, let me first make a quick disambiguation here. So I don't believe it makes sense practicing gratefulness in a context of mitigating the risk of coming across as arrogant. I believe these two behaviors are so different that they, they are not worthwhile talking about them together. So if you want to mitigate the risk of coming across as arrogant, I have other videos for that. But I believe it's a completely different topic and you should not uh, uh, put the, the two together. Now, how do you practice gratefulness? And especially for a job interview. Uh, I'm going to give you um, four or five uh, pieces of advice here. The first one is, do you feel comfortable thanking your interviewer for taking the time to interview you? Do you genuinely believe that uh, you should be grateful for that? I believe this is the first test. Because I know for sure many of you have a <laughs> rather obscure uh, attitude towards uh, these job interviews. But do you feel that uh, you should be, do you genuinely believe that you should be thanking them for their time? If you don't, then, you know, go back to the drawing board and uh, basically rethink the process. Rethink the, the process because actually you're given the privilege to interview for that company. That's how it works. So this would be the, the first uh, behavior. The second behavior that uh, might help you in exhibiting gratefulness in a job interview is uh, to listen more to your interviewer. Um, listening is also an indication of gratefulness, like explicit listening, like really showing them that you care about what, what, what they're saying is uh, in, in some way a method to show your appreciation of what, they, of, uh, what they're actually doing here. And, um, you know, the, the advantage also of, of being a great listener is also understand some hidden messages during this job interview. So, Listening and being a great listener is also, in my opinion, a great way to show gratefulness in a, during the job interview. The third point I want to touch upon here is being transparent. So you showing some degree of uh, transparency uh, can also send a, a message of uh, gratefulness oftentimes. For example, uh, in a remote virtual on-site, if you prefer to use cheat sheets, you know, cheat sheet would be an exaggeration, but if you prefer to use some helping uh, documentation, you could be transparent and straightforward with the, the interview in the beginning of the conversation. Hey, you, you know, I have this uh, cheat sheet here, you know, is that all right? How, how do you feel about it? Is it something that you're comfortable me using throughout our conversation? And I've never heard any interviewer to disagree or tell you, throw it out, you know, so uh, by being transparent can also send a message of uh, gratefulness, especially in a job interview. Uh, the fourth point I want to touch, touch upon here is uh, curiosity and learning. Um, for, for example, in a job interview, if you, if you have an answer and uh, when you're finished and you're not sure if it's the best possible answer that you, you gave, uh, ask them. Hey, I'm just curious, you know, what do you think about my answer? Is it a good one or what do you think uh, would, have, uh, would have been the, a better answer here? Or do you have any concerns about this? You know, like, don't say it after all your answers, but only if you're generally curious of what they think about your answer. But by exhibiting curiosity in a job interview, this also can be a sign of gratefulness that you can do. So, uh, you know, same thing if you, if you inquire a, a weird behavior or something, uh, you know, something, sometimes your interviewers will tell that something is not right in the job interview. And during that time, you know, just um, show curiosity, you know, tell them, hey, what do you wish I, I could have done better here? Or uh, do you think I'm, I'm going in the right direction? Or, you know, stop and, you know, inquire, show, exhibit curiosity at any point during that conversation, because, uh, you know, oftentimes it will also help your performance overall during uh, the job interview. And uh, the last point I want to talk about here is uh, something that I know many of you 
do not feel comfortable uh, doing at all is uh, to send them a thank you email or a thank you note like thanking them for their time to interview you for that interview um, I know you know that this works uh, better for some companies as not as good for others but still you know you're communicating with a human being and after all if you feel like that's the right thing to do uh, sending a thank you email will definitely uh, send a message of gratefulness in uh, f for them taking the time to interview now, of course you know there's also the scenario where you want to clarify something in that thank you um, email but that's uh, that's also acceptable and i believe it, it will be uh, well received so these would be you know the uh, the behaviors the the elements that i believe would contribute to you showing your gratefulness in a job interview and i really do believe that this is um this is something that uh, does significantly improve your chances as a, as a candidate uh, applying for your for your dream job